Hey everybody, did a little bit of shopping, not much, just on the way, you know, and uh, I'm not quite done with the Triple Force Friday thing, but uh, I'm not going all out, okay? So, what I wanted to do was do some comparisons and show me and pick up and no unboxings. I don't do unboxings because I have no real way to do it. <laughs> okay, all right. I don't have the nice wooden platform anymore. It went away and wanted to show what am I looking for? I had some other droids, but whatever. Okay, anyway, this is R2 compared to the 3.75. Okay, not bad. Now, he does have a retractable leg, which is a very cool feature, right? Little wheels all under there. The feet are on ball joints. I do like that a lot. Okay, the third leg pushes in there the head moves around he doesn't make any noises nothing like that he's an action figure so there he is in comparison to other 3.75 inch scale figures okay there's bucket who also has really cool construction I'm gonna set him over there and the features are quite nice okay the detailing is done nicely it is cartoony i really dig that and as you can see the paint job is not bad it does have that retractable leg which i really like it says these wheels work really good but there's they grind they're there you can feel them you can feel the grind in them it's like it's just rough plastic on rough plastic you know and this one doesn't hardly want to move at all and that one, yeah, they don't spin when you spin them, you know? Like, even, it's the old guy, right? Now, he has some resistance, but you, I kind of expect that. that that's a freewheeler. Because he, he's been around a while. He's a builder droid, right? And then, chopper. And, here are the other, now, I'm not so good at covering this stuff because of, no more Platform D, which sucks. Okay. The antenna are separate parts, which is good. They they don't... They can still get broken and bent, but... Like, they're being separate parts, they're not going to get deformed against the base. So that's fine. And BB-8. Uh, he looks okay. He looks a lot like the... Uh, resistance release of bb-8 but he's of course bigger right see bigger than the 3.75 and um i might do some more comparisons later but he has this weird right you can feel and there's a button that why <laughs> i don't get it someone is talking to me on oh no it's a group so, and you can only go, it feels like it wants to break after you hit the, the first thing, and it's like, eh, but his head kind of does spin around, right, but it does that weird button on the bottom thing, but the button does let him stand up, mostly, Dio, however, has, he likes his perfectly flat level surfaces, I can't tell if he's got a counterweight or or what. He's heavier than he ought to be, that's for sure. He definitely feels heavier than he ought to be. Because this is a tiny little figure, right? Here's compared to a 3.75, which actually looks about right for scale for a 3.75, not for 5-inch scale. And, yeah. So, there we have it. R2, BB-8, 
and Dio from the, what is it? Galaxy of Adventures line. Uh, black box. Very, very black series-ish, right? I'm not, I don't need to do a box review. Somebody else can do that. Josh, you do a box review pretty good. I'm not into boxes. <laughs> uh, these are, okay, I will say collector-friendly packaging. Very good. Very good. Especially the irony, uh, the irony of it is uh, the collector-friendly packages are on the beater toys. These are the kids' toys. So, irony. <laughs> okay. I mean, I like these guys. I do, and I want to see, actually, I need to break out the R2 from the doll with Leia and see how he compares against him as well. I really do like the ball joints. They're nice and stiff, right, and they swivel around. That's cool. I like that. Okay, uh... Us makers, we're going to have to get used to ball joints in the ankles of R2 because now it's for, it's canon. There you go, canon. Not just these guys with the little... My him, he's a bad example. <laughs> Not just the standard Astromex. Yeah, I never noticed that Chopper didn't have ankles. That's kind of a kind of a rip right there. He's got a solid leg. Oh, well. But this is my coverage of these Galaxy of Adventures figures. I might do coverage on the other one. Do some comparisons, yes. Because I have plenty of... Like, I got Chewbacca. Okay, I've already opened him. And he goes back in the package nicely. Very collector-friendly and very stackable. Very Black Series. I will give it to them. That the boxes that they these guys come in, very collector friendly. And that's nice. You got plastic shell over the molded part. And then you have, and that makes the window, right? Because there's no front window on this package. So it's technically an open face package, but that slides out with the figure. See? I'm not going to open it right now. That's okay. So, yeah, BB-8. Babe, thank you. Okay, <laughs> all right. That's all I got for these guys. I like them. They're pretty cool. Detailing is good, and they could have done better with BB-8. What, what, what's the, the the action figures have a weird arm spin trick too, and it just doesn't. It's not doing anything for me. Boop. He. Real quick, real fast. Okay. What would have been cool for this R2 is a telescoping antenna. That would have been really good. And see the height of the head? It could have been this tall. And it would have been great if they didn't do that. We could have had a telescoping antenna. See that? That is the droid stare of judgment. Looking at you, Hasbro. Looking directly at you. You. Okay, thanks a lot. Out of here. Bye-bye.